if you were in charge of crowning a new king or queen, what would you have happened during that celebration? Today we're going to learn about the early days of Israel's first king. But before we get to today's lesson, let's check out our new big picture question. Why does sin separate us from God? Because God is holy, sin has broken our relationship with God. Sin has always been a problem, ever since Adam and Eve disobeyed God in the Garden of Eden. Like them, we all struggle with sin, and sin separates us from a holy God. God settled his people, the Israelites, in the land of Canaan. When they asked God for help fighting their enemies, God sent a judge to lead them. Samuel was the last judge of Israel, but the people asked and said for a king to lead them, like the nations around them. God warned the Israelites that they would regret asking for a king. However, going along with their request, God chose Saul to be the first king of Israel. One day, Saul heard the people in his town weeping. What's the matter? Saul asked. The people told Saul, some messengers from the city of Jabesh just came with a message. They said that Nahash, an Ammonite leader, came with his army and surrounded the city. The leaders of Jabesh asked for time to get help, so Nahash gave them seven days. If no one comes to help, they will have to surrender. When Saul heard this report, he sent a message throughout Israel, calling for men to come and fight. The people came together to fight against the Ammonites. The next morning, Saul organized the troops. They invaded the camp where the enemy army was staying, and they defeated Nahash and the Ammonites. Saul announced to the people, Today the Lord has provided deliverance in Israel. Then all the people went to the city of Gilgal, and there before the Lord they made Saul their king. They gave offerings to God and rejoiced. Saul united the people of Israel against a common enemy. When he asked the nation to come together to help the people in Jabesh, the people listened, and God gave them victory. God sent his spirit so Saul would know what to do and how to unite Israel. God then gave the Israelites victory over the Ammonites so that they no longer had to fear their neighbors. But Saul could only unite the people of Israel, and we have a greater king, Jesus. Jesus unites everyone from all over the world who choose to believe in him. Jesus also saves us from an even greater enemy than the Ammonites. He saves us from sin and the penalty we deserve to pay, death. As a result, we should worship Jesus out of gratitude for what he has done for us, just like the Israelites worshiped God for saving them from the Ammonites. God chose Saul to be the Israelites' king. With God's help, Saul brought the Israelites together to defeat their enemy. God sent his son Jesus to be our king forever. Jesus brings together everyone who trusts in him and gives us victory over sin and death. Now let's take one more look at our new memory verse, Isaiah 6, 5. It says, Then I said, Woe is me. For I am ruined, because I am a man of unclean lips, and live among a people of unclean lips. And because my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of armies. Sin destroys our unity with other people and with God. Sin separates us from God, and only Jesus can bring us back together. May we all choose to trust in Him for salvation. Join us again next week as we look at some of the bad choices Saul made as king of Israel.